Hi, I'm Arjun from First Updates Now FTC, and today we're interviewing Team 14607 Robot Uprising. And they have a really innovative robot with a cool outtake, intake, and drivetrain. And first, I'm going to hand it off to you to talk about the outtake. Sure. So the outtake is one of the most innovative parts of our robot. Uh, we actually haven't seen any other team that does this. So um, we go through three different degrees of freedom, and then are able to successfully maneuver the block into the new formation. This has been very consistent, and we're able to stack almost seven every match. All right, so I'm Charlie, and next I'm going to talk about the drivetrain. So if we can flip this over. So our drivetrain is entirely laser cut out of quarter inch Delrin. And what this allows us to do, Delrin is a, a very easy laserable material. So we can use a laser cutter to manufacture all pieces of this. And we manufactured everything so that it would fit together as an enclosure around our entire chassis. So this is right here, just parallel plate construction. So we have um, we have Go Build a Go Rail right here, and this is Go Build a Rex. And uh, both of these are just Delrin plates. And we have a dead axle um, uh, drivetrain construction, and these are just standard 20 to 1 motors. Um, what's really unique, though, is this full enclosure around the entire robot allows us to withstand really anything. You can abuse this however you like, and it would not suffer any damage. So collisions on the field, collisions with anything, our robot never gets damaged. And that's something that's really unique about our robot. Um, I'm Dev, and I guess I'll talk about the intake. So our intake is uses two, two Go Build 5.2s, chain the one-to-one -one reduction ratio to the three-inch ANUR compliant wheels. We actually cut the wheels around the edges to get a more, more compression out of them. And the max speed is 1,100 RPM, and it allows for a really, really quick intaking. If you want to demo that, Charlie, ungrip it. Yeah. yeah. So this is intake running, and max speed. If you want to. Yeah, we can run it right here at max speed. So there we go. So it allows us to pick it up at almost any angle allowed by the guardrails, and it goes in at a very high speed, so we can quickly grip it up and score. So one other thing that I noticed is that you actually have these little rough parts on your drivetrain. Can somebody talk about that? Yeah, so um, those rough parts of the drivetrain are for if we're ever flush with a block against the wall and we need to pick it up. What we do is we get the rough part against the block and we actually tilt our entire robot by strafing. Which allows the block to slowly turn so it can be picked up by the guardrails into the intake. Thank you so much. This is Arjun from First Update Now with Team 14607 Robot Uprising. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.